let's get into it soul not for sale podcast you know i always call my other channel soul not for sale and then i try to call this something else but it's all soul not for sale in reality i'm gonna start uploading all these episodes on the same spotify so uh, there's a bunch of stuff going on but it's all soul not for sale because me myself my soul is not for sale no matter what always gonna bring the truth now we're getting into some stuff here rfk is absolutely destroying kamala harris and this sad sad completely manufactured campaign that we are seeing right before our eyes and i for one am very very happy about what's going on you know i thought this was just an endorsement by rfk jr but in reality there's this coalition happening and what rfk wants to see happen in america he's going to be the representative for his people within the trump administration it, it's just amazing what's going on the democrats have no idea what they lost by turning on rfk but let's get to the fact that he is destroying the kamala harris campaign but i'm going to show you something right now and i know i know you don't like what you see on the screen but just hear me out there may be a solution for a person like this rfk's vp pick actually just posted something very very important a certain uh, a certain product that's come to the market so let's listen to this are you watching this moron speak can he form a coherent sentence he is the worst thing that ever happened period and he's just babbling like an incoherent asshole he's like dr doom he's the worst thing Oh, you know what? He just lies, lies, lies. I am done with Donald Trump. Let's be done with Donald, okay? Done with Donald. Absolutely gross. Keith Oberman has just aged terribly. I don't know what happened to Keith Oberman, but there is hope for Keith. Sorry? That's Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, my God. That's Rosie O'Donnell. Jeez, I even commented, if you see here, I even commented, Keith Oberman needs to calm down, needs to relax. Oh, God. But there is hope for someone who is this deep into their TDS. There is hope for someone this Trump deranged. We can solve this. You know, uh, RFK's VP pick just posted this ad. Very special what's going on here. Are you or your loved ones suffering from illnesses such as TDS, also known as Trump derangement syndrome? Do you dismiss or deny the current issues facing our country, such as historic inflation, illegal immigration, corporate corruption, World War III escalations, and the chronic disease epidemic? Are you willing to elect someone who was the least popular vice president in modern history and who offers no policy or vision for America simply because your brain keeps telling you anyone but Trump? If so, you might be struggling from TDS. Introducing Independence. Independence allows you the freedom to finally think independently once again. Instead of believing everything you hear from the mainstream media, independence allows for constructive critical thinking. I used to hear people on the news say things like, Donald Trump and the movement he has encouraged are a threat to democracy. And I instantly believed it. With independence, I now realize the media is run by the Democrat elite, who are a corrupt oligarchy that censors free speech silences political opponents, supports forever wars, and abandons democracy by anointing its candidates. Independence may not be for everyone. If you enjoy being lied to about your president's cognitive abilities, support Orwellian totalitarianism, or are excited about communist fiscal policy, independence may not be right for you. Common side effects of independence may include an awakening of rational thought, successfully identifying propaganda, freedom of choice, loss of hatred, anti-narcissistic behavior, and love of democracy. I used to blindly hate whoever my party was running against. I didn't care about facts or policy because I was hopelessly indoctrinated. With independence, I'm much more interested in policies that uphold democracy, and I truly care about the health of our country and its citizens. Ask your doctor if independence is right for you and enjoy your freedoms once again. Are you or your loved ones suffering there's hope, ladies and gentlemen. There is hope. Okay, so for that uncle, that mother, that father, brother, sister, 
that's in this predicament that so many of us have seen and been absolutely baffled by. There is hope. Independence coming out soon. <laughs> Someone send Rosie O'Donnell a whole skid of whatever this is. <laughs> but amazingly, like I said, this was posted by RFK Jr.'s VP pick, Nicole Shanahan. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I just love it. I love the fact that she they're they're the people who don't troll they don't do anything like that and as soon as they got with trump they're like we gotta troll a little bit we gotta get at her so i i absolutely love that just putting that out there for everybody who's trump deranged you know and then rfk actually um made this little video here where he was talking about kamala harris as well let's go and he's actively campaigning for trump you love to see it let's go Kamala harris is the party of war she is uh she's a war hawk on you know the democratic party was always the peace party uh kamala harris is a a war hawk on ukraine she's a war hawk on on china i think that we should be figuring out ways to coexist with the rest of the world as best we can of course we need to protect our national security i think she's not going to do anything about the national deficit i've never heard her speak about the chronic disease epidemic about i think she's a product of the corporate control of our democracy and she's one of the authors of um in the in terms of civil rights she has one of the worst civil rights record of any public official she's the author of the uh, one of the primary authors of the school to prison pipeline she kept five thousand people despite a supreme court order I think, you know, Kamala Harris is the party of war. She is. Uh... And what he was going to say was, uh, despite a Supreme Court order to turn over evidence, uh, she still tried to fight it a little bit. But you can only fight so much once you're subpoenaed by the Supreme Court. Once they, I shouldn't say subpoenaed, once they order you to give over certain information so these certain people could uh, have a second look at their case. And a lot of them ended up being released. That is just a little bit of her record. But RFK, he doesn't do this. He did not do this on Biden, really. He didn't really attack people. He wanted to be the person who didn't do this kind of thing. But even him in, the, in, in front of Kamala Harris has to speak his mind. And the thing is, it's pretty easy to feel like you're to seem like you're attacking when it comes to Kamala Harris, because as soon as you get into her record, as soon as you get into who she is, who she was, what she stands for, it all sounds like an attack, but the, the truth is she is just a terrible candidate. I said it. I said it in the, on a podcast I was just on. I said she is she is Hillary Clinton and Obama. That's what she is. She's Hillary Clinton, Obama. That's exactly what she is. She's she's everything that you what you saw while Hillary was running and was scaring you to death. And she's everything that Barack Obama is. Barack Obama was a divider and he was positioned as someone who was bringing the country together. It was also racist to go against him. It's, it's all the same things that you saw with Obama. She has and all the same things that you're scared about in regards to, you know, deep state totalitarianism that you saw within Hillary Clinton and that you knew she was a part of and that she would endorse. Kamala Harris is right on board with it. So think about that. You know, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but just think about that. She's she's Obama, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Obama. <laughs> All right, let's go into this. This is also RFK going in on Kamala Harris again. I mean, he is he's out. He's not playing around. As soon as you get with the mega movement, it's like you got to get with the movement. You, you come on. You got to you got to get with the game plan. RFK understands the assignment completely. Let's go. If you were on stage facing Kamala Harris. How would you turn this exchange into a victory for you? Uh, I talk about her record. I talk about the border. Um, I would, you know, if between seven and, and as high as 15 million illegal immigrants who've come in, uh, escorted in by the Sinaloa drug cartel. They've been crushing the social safety system in our country. I talk about the COVID lockdowns, which, which 
uh, closed 3.3 million businesses and and 41 percent of the black owned businesses will never reopen it shifted 4.3 trillion dollars north to from the american middle class to this new oligarchy of billionaires uh, i would talk about censorship I, I think she's very, very vulnerable on that because of the statements that she's made, but also the policy of the Biden administration. You now have Mark Zuckerberg coming forward and saying that the Biden White House ordered him to censor uh, President Biden's political opponents. And I'd want to know about where she stood on that. I would talk about uh, the the health epidemic in our country that is overwhelming American children. I talk about her role in gaslighting the country about President Biden's mental condition. She told the country that she was talking to him every day and that he was perfectly OK. And then we realized that it was all a, a hoax when we saw him on the debating stage. Oh, I, I think she has a lot of the, the economy is a mess. Um, we've got a I, I want to know how she's going to deal with the housing crisis, how she's going to get our kids back into houses again. You know, our kids can't afford housing the first generation in history. I'd ask her about the, the deficit. Thirty five trillion dollars, a trillion dollars every 30 days, every 90 days. We're adding a trillion dollars within five years, 50 cents out of every dollar. That we spend in taxes is going to go to servicing the debt. Does she have a plan for that? And that is something else that I love. This uh, Maha, Make America Healthy Again. So basically, <laughs> this is coming together with the MAGA movement, right? And then everything that this is about, Make America Healthy Again, that th those interests are going to be represented by RFK Jr., his people around him. So it's it's going to be this coalition. I've not seen anything like this that was beneficial to the people. I have seen something like this in Canada. I believe it is the, uh, the liberals. And there's another party. It's yellow. Turban guy runs it. No offense to people wearing turbans. I just don't know his name. Um, NDP, I believe. And I don't know what NDP stands for. I'm going to be honest with you. But... They did a coalition, but it was actually very much to the detriment of the people, and it kept Justin Trudeau in power, whereas this is going to actually help people in regards to the health epidemic that's going on in the country because that is their main focus. So pretty cool to see. And honestly, when, when he talks about, let's see if I can actually find this. Do I have this pulled up already? I wanted to talk about this. Yeah, when he talks about censorship and what Kamala Harris is all about, I was going to do this in a completely other episode, but I'll play it now. Like, when it comes to censorship, this is where she stands. I mean, we're talking about she wants to see X shut down. She's In this clip that you're seeing right now, she's going to be talking about Donald Trump being um, 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 deplatformed off of X. Just listen to this. You look at what he's been tweeting today, directed at the whistleblower, um, directed at, at so many people. Uh, you know, I, I frankly think that based on this and all we've seen him do before, including ta attacking members of Congress, that he frankly should be, his Twitter account should be suspended. He is irresponsible with his words in a way that could result in harm to other people. And so the privilege of using those words in that way should probably be taken from him. Should probably be taken from him. Should probably be taken from him. He has, he has lost his privileges and it should be taken down. And, and the bottom line is that you can't say that you have one rule for Facebook and you have a different rule for for Twitter. The same rule has to apply, which is that there has to be a, 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 a responsibility that is placed on these social media sites to understand their power. They are directly speaking to millions and millions of people without any level of, of, of oversight or regulation. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. You, I know you wrote to um Twitter and the CEO, uh, Jack Dorsey, and asked him to take away the president's yeah. Twitter handle, his account. How is that not a violation of free speech? I mean, the president has the same rights 
that you have, that I have, and how would that not just be a slippery slope? Or I've heard that argument, but, but here's the thing, Jake. First of all, a, a corporation, which is what Twitter is, um, it does not have the, it has obligations, and in this case, Twitter has terms of use policy. They're shutting me down, guys. They're shutting me down. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> That's it. They're shutting me down, guys. The lights and are going to go off. And their terms of use um, dictate who receives the privilege of speaking on that platform and who does not. And Donald Trump has clearly violated the terms of use. And there should be a consequence for that. And there should be a consequence for that. Not to mention the fact that he has used his platform, being the president of the United States, in a way that has been about inciting fear and potentially inciting harm against a, a witness to what might be a crime against our country and our democracy. And for that reason, I do believe that, he is, that it's clear that he has violated the terms of use. And I'm asking that Twitter does what it has done in previous occasions, which is to revoke someone's privilege, revoke someone's privilege. You see what I mean there? So that's, that's what RFK is talking about in regards to censorship and where she stands on that. She's saying it's a privilege to use words in the first few clips, saying it was a privilege for Donald Trump to be able to speak on Twitter, that he's lost. Then she says it's a privilege for Elon Musk to provide open, fair, free speech to millions of people. I mean, she's saying, uh, well, Tim was saying there's no guarantee on free speech, and they always try to link it to hate speech. That way, that way people don't want to argue it, because who wants to be against hate speech, right? And then at the end, she's asking, actually asking Jack Dorsey, and we all know how that was going. They actually had a, a feed into that company and they were allowed to silence whoever they wanted. But she was actually asking the CEO openly to censor Trump, to deplatform Trump. And they actually did it. And on top of that, Mark Zuckerberg actually came forward and said her and Biden's administration was actually pressuring him to do the same thing to millions of Americans. Like, wh what are we talking about here? The choice has become so you clear. And it's so sad that there is this huge population of people who are like, no, I, I, want, I want censorship. I want it. I want it. I want it. There's people I don't like, and I, I get to say things, and I don't want them to say things. I, I just, I don't want it anymore. It's so baffling to me that you could look at Kamala Harris, everything she's about, or you're willfully ignorant and you're not looking at anything she's about. You know, it's just, it's wild. It's absolutely wild what's going on with her in regards to censorship. And what makes you think she's not going to do this even more? I mean, that clip, some of these clips were about Trump back when he was first on Twitter. But this clip here, let me just get, get to this clip. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull this clip up. Because this clip here was actually her saying that Elon Musk should have X taken away from him. Like, X should be shut down. She's saying there's no oversight. And what does oversight mean? Well, oversight means exactly the situation that Twitter was in before, where people from various, not even just one, various intelligence agencies could contact them and say, hey, I shouldn't just say intelligence agencies, various agencies we're able to contact them and say, um, this person should be censored. We have a list of people that we need censored. Um, and if they didn't violate any of the rules, just throttle them down to nothing, please. And Twitter would go, okay. And apparently Facebook was too. And who else is, right? So it's very interesting. I feel like one day if this was like uh, blown out of, uh, like if there was whistleblowers just in all companies, I won't mention them, but all companies, that I would turn around the next day and have like 10 million subscribers. <laughs> if they would just lift the veil off of me, I'd have millions of subscribers. I just know it. I just know it. But I don't complain about it. We just push through. It is what it is, you know. Uh, you know, you, you don't you don't try and do stuff like this and think that you're just going to push through and like nothing. You know what I mean? So, it's going to take time, but you know, uh, that that it is what it is. But RFK his campaign has merged with Trump's campaign and Trump is starting to rub off on RFK and his VP pick. And I love 
to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to bring that to you. And you know what? If you know somebody who needs the independence, if you know somebody who needs it, who has a TDS, I mean, reach out to RFK's campaign. You know, they're trying to get people healthy again. I'm sure I'm sure they can set you up with <laughs> with a whole bunch of it. Need to get that in the water supply. <laughs> anyways guys like subscribe joking of course joking youtube joking joking anyways like subscribe turn on the notifications other than that i'm out